The office took a huge risk with Steve Carroll's return after John Krasinski lied in public for a crucial reason, knowing that he was going to lose his job. Based on contemporary American office life at Dunder Mifflin, a paper supply firm in Scranton, Pennsylvania, the office is a multi-award winning BBC hit. It is a mockumentary about regular office workers who are caught up in ego conflicts, completely inappropriate behavior, and mind-numbing dullness. The reason the program is still a fan favorite is that it finds the remarkable in the ordinary. For example, a paper firm is ordinary and extremely dull, but the writers made the simple things shine. Without a question, the appeal of the office characters is to the viewer. They are actually remarkable because they are relatable, diversified, and a wacky, humorous, kind, obnoxious, and self-centered mix. The authors of one of these characters took a tremendous risk and feared they may lose their jobs. It transpired when they chose to have Michael Scott, a character played by Steve Carroll, return for the finale. In season 7, Steve Carroll left the office to pursue new interests and spend more time with his family. The dynamics and comedy timing of the program, however, plummeted without his Michael Scott and seasons 8 and 9 struggled. The office simply wasn't the same after that. Carol left the show two seasons previously, but they managed to persuade him to come back for the series finale. It was all about Angela and the gang reuniting a year after the PBS documentary had aired, along with Dwight's wedding. Even though NBC gave them free reign for the series finale, Greg Daniels, the showrunner of the program, claimed that some of his team remained worried that their careers would be in jeopardy due to Carol's ill-planned comeback. To Entertainment Weekly, Daniels remarked, Even the main character on the show had second thoughts about making a comeback since he didn't want to detract fans from the other characters on the show. Greg Daniels had a vision for the conclusion, which was a huge family reunion, and he was totally accurate. Without Steve Carroll, the office reunion simply wouldn't have been the same. When most of the cast's contracts expired, things became challenging. The show's creators were worried about how it would fare without the original cast. Some of the veteran writers, including Mindy Kaling, Jen Salata, Gene Stupnitsky, Lee Eisenberg, and B.J. Novick, had already moved on to other endeavors before the cast was assembled. On May 16, 2013, The Office's season finale aired on television. The series had nine seasons and more than 200 episodes, making it one of the most popular and well-liked comedies in recent memory. NBC opted not to produce season 10 owing to cast changes and technology developments despite the show's success among streaming services. It became evident that the show had outlived its usefulness and that a fresh season was not feasible. Finally, the Dunder Mifflin team could rest.